Konbawa, Bubble Cap Tunes. Uh, I'm broadcasting live from the Art Mines, and I am here on the floor for two reasons. One, my work table is an unusable disaster. Um, I have a whole lot of crap and nowhere to put any of it as the renovation project goes underway. Uh, that doesn't mean I have stopped doing motorcycle things or things here in the shop. Uh, and two, I wanted to show you -da, my brand new uh, Pittsburgh roll-on wheel chalk for the uh, front wheel chalk for the motorcycle. This was $79 from Harbor Freight, pretty good deal. Um, it's made out of pretty solid metal, can hold up to 1,800 pounds. And just remember, even my uh, beautiful Valkyrie, which is like 750 pounds, that's the whole thing. So if you're rolling on one wheel, you're really not gonna be rolling on all 750 pounds of that. Um, the weight may not be evenly distributed between front and back, but you're not putting the whole thing onto one point. So don't worry about weight too much. Uh, I'm not gonna do a uh, traditional unboxing and assembly video because frankly, there's not really a lot to see. Uh, this cross support piece here comes with the tie down points and the little rubbery feet already put in place. Um, there's two bolts with two lock nuts right there. Um, the cradle and the, uh, I guess the, there are two parts to it, the fixed cradle and the pivoting cradle. Um, they have these repositionable rods there and um, that's really about it. Something to keep in mind, uh, two things to keep in mind um, when you get this. Uh, if you don't know how to use it, you basically roll your motorcycle in here. The front wheel sits into this cradle picks it up slightly and drops it forward, um, resting it in this space here. I haven't measured which fitting, which position, this is the adjustable one. This one just pivots back and forth where it is. I haven't measured uh, where this will go. It may be a little bit of trial and error. Once I do that, I will put the appropriate positioning in the uh, link below, just so you know, in the description below. Um, so, but yeah, something to keep in mind, you see me, touching this, there's a little bit of a space here, so this cradle can move back and forth just a little bit. Um, you can resolve that by stacking in some washers, and these these pins come out, they're just held in by, uh, or these rods come out rather, just held in by cotter pins and washers, really nothing to it. Um, and that's what, what makes this design so great, is there is nothing to it. The washer on, put the pin back, and you're good to go. But this may let your wheel shift just a little bit, so you might want to think about. Um, looks like you've got maybe a quarter inch, maybe an eighth, if, when this is centered on either side, without stacking in some washers once you get this position right. And same with this. This one can slide around a little bit, but I might leave this one to, because this is supposed to pivot where it is. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that, and I've seen other people comment on this in their reviews of this, and again, I haven't used this yet, so uh, you'll see that when I do the spring maintenance video, or the spring riding check video, is that when you're rolling your motorcycle on and the wheel pivots, uh, I've I've seen that um, a lot of people comment that the slides. Uh, you're supposed to use this on a smooth surface. So if you're using this on your wooden pole dancing floor or on a smooth uh, you know, concrete uh, of your garage, <clears throat> you might run into a little bit of a sliding issue. Um, I thought of two ways to, to solve that. One way that uh, other people have mentioned is putting this up against a wall, up against a physical hard stop, or putting in a board or something, you know, keep it away from the wall a little bit so that this can't move forward. 
Another thing that would work is if you, and this has a couple of uh, bolt holes here, and you can, I'm sure you can come up with something pretty easily. Uh, putting this on a piece of plywood so that when you roll your front wheel into this, the back wheel is on the plywood, and that will sort of pin it in place and keep this from sliding forward. Um, that is certainly one option, but then you're stuck with this mounted to a piece of plywood. Another option, uh, and uh, Pittsburgh Tools, you can have this one for free. Call me, I would love to come design stuff for you. Is that these little rubber feet that, that come with it, they are threaded in um, metric 10 M10 by 1.5. Get out, give it to me. This has a good bit of weight to it. Um, but they're threaded in metric metric 10, metric 10 by 1.5. So I went to my favorite local hardware store and I bought some uh, M10 by 1.5 uh, thread pitch bolts, cut off the threaded portion to the same height, stay, to the same height as this, and then just ground them down to a bit of a point. Um, and these are just, just hand tightened, really. Make your own joke about finding the hole. Um, but they're just hand tightened in here. And one here. This went so well in rehearsal. But then these spikes essentially will act very similar to the spikes on tripods, the, cleat, the cleats on, um, you know, like running shoes, things like that, and stick in, provide a much uh, sharper point, literally, to keep this from sliding forward as much. Something to keep in mind, if you're using this, you know, a homemade custom points idea. If you're using it on like asphalt or something like that, which you'll see me do um, when I work on the Valkyrie a little bit, no problem. If you're using them on your wooden floor or your smooth, uh, smooth studio concrete, these things will probably gouge the floor. So if you're okay with that, you're okay with that. But uh, don't get mad at me when you discover that trying this yourself. Um, but. <laughs> That's what I get for not tightening that down. But to be honest, um, I've needed something like this for a while to keep the Valkyrie and any other bike I get um, upright. I still use the trackside stand, still use the jack when uh, I need to lift things up a little bit. But just to kind of hold it in place to do basic stuff, um, I've needed one of these and will probably make your life easier too. So this didn't quite go as planned. I uh, tried to film the um, actual rolling on to the wheel and uh, didn't quite work at all. So um, let me just edit in some stuff here and show you my experience. Go. So this is not working at all. And I am really grumpy about it. These pads are, are just hard plastic. They slide here. Uh, tried doing the um, those metal spikes, and those nicely gouged up the asphalt, but didn't didn't hold it at all. So I'm gonna try another trick that I saw somewhere else on YouTube. And uh, I don't know how well you can see, but this is all all just gouged torn up this little bit is just chewed up um yeah maybe uh, you get what you pay for i'm gonna try one more thing before i call harbor freight and say your stuff is garbage um somebody suggested taking some mat some rubbery kind of foamy mat and sticking it on there on the bottom i've got uh i've got a bit so I figure i'll just stick it right here some spray adhesive, see what happens. I am pissed. Yeah, if this doesn't work,
doesn't work, I may end up taking it back. You just say, your stuff is garbage. So that's a nice solid feel. I like that. I'm using this all the way forward. Um, I guess I should look up the specs on wheel size and tire diameter just to give you kind of a heads up of what setting might work best for your front size vehicle or your front size wheel. Um, but yeah, anyway, here you go. That's the wheel stand. Um, recommend some sort of squishy rubber foam mat thing under it to really grip the ground and keep it from moving forward because spikes won't work in these plastic feet. Uh, are pretty garbage. So, bolted some plywood, put it up against the wall, whatever works best for you. Um, but yeah, you get what you pay for. So, anyway, wanted to share this with you. I hope you are safe and well fed wherever you are. I wish you mucho, mucho amor. So, yeah, that's it for me. See you out on the road.